Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp in All Subjects channel. This is going to be, uh, should we call this Isaiah 401? No, uh, because it's going to be a little shorter video. I want to talk to you about in terms of don't be mean to these women. Instead, do these things. Don't make it an us against them thing. There's no need for that. There's too much to do, too much to explore in life for you to allow the wo a woman, well, even if it's your wife, girlfriend, to make things uh, me against you. Because you could just dump her. You could divorce her like you. But I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Why I believe some of these women do some of the things that they do in terms of relationships because they know if they can get you to commit to them, it's a win-win for them. If you think they don't know that, I need to ask you where have you been. But don't be mean, don't be mad, don't make it an us against them thing. Do these things. Dress fly. And fly is what you think, not what other people think. In fact, if you go buy you some outfits and some jewelry, I mean, as you can see, when I ain't working, I sometimes throw on a little bit of my jewelry. But who cares what these other people talking about? Because people... Let me tell you something. There's a thing that I like to call subtle, S-U-B-T-L-E, hating. Subtle hating is like when somebody throw a compliment and a criticism at the same time. Like, I ain't never seen so many dudes that, that emphasize and focus on another man's appearance like a lot of these dudes do right now. Like they focus, they'll focus on your appearance more than you. Don't pay no attention to them either. They some haters. They're haters. It's one of two things that make a man focus on another man's appearance. Either he's a hater or he's trying to elevate himself over that man. Don't let no man elevate himself over you. You did, and then, as a matter of fact, a lot of y'all trying to talk about your money. You still ain't over me. You could be a millionaire. You still not over me. That's it. You just a millionaire. It's different. People got different amounts of money. You, you a millionaire. You just happen to have a million. So what? You still not over me. And some of these dudes are slime balls, dirt bags. I'm gonna use white phrases. Which is all the more reason why they not over. But just dress nice, get you some jewelry. Don't spend all your money. Like, I'm gonna tell you like this. Don't buy all real pieces. Buy fake pieces that look better than real pieces. And don't tell nobody. What. Remember that video I did where I had the real mixed in with the fake and people couldn't even tell the difference? And people was trying to come on there and act like they could tell it. You know you can't. You can't. Because if I buy a fake piece, I'm going to make sure you can't tell the difference. I could pay $60 for a watch that looked like it cost $60,000. You just got to know how to coordinate your stuff. And don't wear tennis shoes all the time, you grow. Get you a couple pairs of shoes that's not tennis shoes. You take a woman out, you shouldn't always have on no tennis shoes. Especially if it ain't summertime. In the wintertime, you should have on boots. Or some type of casual shoe. Sometime in the summer you should have on casual. Just dress dress nice. Keep your hair right.
and go from there. Even if my hair ain't right, I'm still going to feel the same about myself. Y'all know I rock the, the sun pepper for a couple months, then I go back to Blackbeard for a couple weeks. Like, it, okay, I, I'm, I'm not trying to talk about the man, but listen. People be wanting to bring up age. I don't know. People be wanting to bring up age. But age, I know dudes with the full ball spot that's only in their 30s. And I don't criticize them. It happens, man. But if a person like that brought up my age, it'd be like, man, you done lost more hair than I did. So, when it comes to these women, the ones you can't get, don't worry about them. And the ones that don't like you, don't worry about them. Nor worry about the ones that ain't down for you like that. See, you see, we waste our years away trying to make relationships with women who don't even respect us like that. A woman who respects you, it ain't gonna take her all day to get wet. That's women who don't respect you and who don't like you like that and probably using you. Because the one, I, I, I'm telling you, man, I remember. The one, thinking back, the ones that like me the most, I could just come up to their ear and they're going to get wet. The ones that don't like you like that, you got to do all that. You got to be like a Rottweiler down there. It's because they don't like you like that. Y'all married to women like this. It take everything to get her wet. But as soon as she mess with another dude, people wasting you, wasting your time. Don't get mad at her. You got kids with a woman, she trying to, trying to get under your skin with them kids, that's why you should have money. You'd be like, okay, I'm gonna set aside this 10,000 just strictly for court. If she if she try to try this or try that. You know? So, don't get mad at them, man. Just focus on yourself. And don't try to make them happy. You can't. They got to make themselves happy. All they, look, man, a, a woman is into you, she's not going to criticize you every second. A woman that's not into you and has to use you for something that's the one that's going to always be trying to criticize you. So when they always try to criticize you, don't worry about them, man. Just don't spend too much time dealing with them. Again, get your dress up. Get your money up. Focus on yourself. Thanks for watching.